to tell the truth, that's why they lying on my name, on my soul I can't lose control, when y'all do the most, what's my hope? I can't lose my soul, I can't lose no more Alright y'all, what is going on guys, and today we're back with another banger video, and in today's video, as you can tell by the title, we have episode 30 of Ask Souls. Now, I know I said I was going to do a live stream, but I forgot that I kind of have to go to like Florida, so like I need like OD videos, and I won't have time to do like the live stream, because I got to schedule all the videos, just know, I'll do a live stream for an Ask Souls, probably for episode 40 then, and I promise I'll do it for episode 40 then, but thank you guys for 30 episodes of Ask Souls, if you don't know what Ask Souls is, just leave questions down below, right? Ask Souls, put a question, and you will be in the next ask souls it could be a question about literally anything whether it's sneakers fashion food clothes anime um but anything that you literally want like any question you have in general it could be about anything in the entire world this is like the one video like out of like you know all the videos that i post that i feel like could be a little bit more personal you guys can ask me stuff ask for advice anything that you guys think comment it down below but nonetheless if you are new to the channel make sure to take a second out of your day hit that subscribe button because we post every other Day, which is probably better than your favorite youtuber unless of course I'm your favorite youtuber now that all the talking is out of the way Let's get into this. We got a lot of questions from last week So let's go ask souls if theoretically I know you will make it you don't go into designing sneakers What would your second career choice be? Oh, that's that's a good choice, but this is my thing, right? I'm gonna design sneakers regardless but I'm not gonna have one career. Like that's gonna be, yeah, obviously it's not gonna be my job and stuff, but like I said, I wanna continue YouTube as I get older as well. I wanna continue, I wanna branch out and do so many different things. There's so many ways to make sources of income that it's not like, like we live in a new era. Like it's, this isn't like, I don't know. It's not like how it used to be. Like there's so many ways you can make money. So many, whether it's real estate, whether it's stocks, whether it's just like, you know, the internet in general is just a crazy place to make money. And I just feel like no matter what I do, I'm gonna be good because I'm gonna reach out to all these different things. Like I'm never just gonna be in one little box so if sneaker design don't work cool whatever i'll have 50 other things to go to ask souls quality over quantity what do you think about sneakers going for too much for what it's worth due to hype and such with mid trash quality similar colorway slash mass production and then shoes that have the same price tag but like it's quality quality and could last a lifetime that the designer actually took time with i know this is hella long but do you think it's logical slash opinion so i think what you're saying is quality over quantity, which obviously I agree with. I, re I agree with. And whether the quality is better on a GR than it is on a hype sneaker, or if a quality is better on, you know, a uh, collab than it is on a GR, I think just buy what you want at the end of the day. Uh, obviously one might be better than the other. Obviously I feel like quality is always going to be better, but for people on a budget, you know, the other stuff, the, nobody, they might not care that much about quality. They might just go for the look. And it's just, it really depends on you. Like, honestly, I'm somebody that doesn't really care about either. Like, I appreciate a good quality shoe, but I could also appreciate a shoe if the materials are trash. Because sometimes, like, some shoes that have, like, bad materials and stuff, it kind of is cool. Like, it kind of looks cool. It can look cool. Like, not every shoe needs to be, like, crazy, like, you know, tumbled leather, like, some crazy suede and furs and like not every sneaker gotta have that obviously and there's plenty of shoes that don't like somebody but i know what you mean when the grs do get a little bit crazy though and there's like glue stains and there's effects on every single shoe like there's defects on all the shoes like maybe like it's a jordan 4 i'll take for example the jordan 4 red thunders that sneaker had so many defects so like when it comes to that it's like bro i would have rather the quality been there and not the quantity because that's a gr like it's a heavy gr and they just mass produce those and like Bro, especially on the kids' pairs, the cages were all messed up. So, it's, and I know because I work at a sneaker. Hello, I know. And like, I don't know. I feel like when it comes to that, then it's like, all right, don't make that much then. Like, don't make too much to the point where it's like that. But then it's like, also, do you want the resale prices to be up? So I guess I don't really know how to answer that. Quality over quantity. Let me know. I know in terms of like me. I just like a shoe. If I notice a shoe looks like the quality's not there, then I'm not gonna cop it. But if I notice like a shoe is the quality's there, but it's like three thousand dollars, I'm not gonna cop it. Like, what do I need a three thousand dollars shoe for? I don't care how much money I have. I don't. I mean, sure, if I sold a bunch of my shoes, I could probably afford a three thousand dollars shoe. But what do I need a three thousand dollars shoe for? You know what I mean? I feel like I'll always be like that, no matter how much money I have. Yeah, I might like treat myself one day to it, but like I'm not gonna just continuously cop three thousand dollars shoes and be like, oh, but the quality, but the quality. No, if I like a shoe, I like a shoe. Ask Souls, you ever relate to SB and it feels weird how much you relate to them? What's SB? Maybe, am I a little slow? Do you ever relate to SB? Like dunks, do I relate to shoes? No? Ask Souls, where should I buy shorts from? Ooh, that's a good question. I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't really know. I'm gonna say the generic answer because this is the shorts that I have. Uniglo, uh, Fashion Nova. 
Um, if you're not into fast fashion, then Uniqlo for sure. Um, Zara has some good shorts. Uh, who else? Who else got good shorts? I feel like most of my shorts are honestly fast. Again, I know I'm a like brand ambassador or whatever, but like I feel like most of my shorts are from Fashion Nova, and like that's what I wear the most. The ones that I'm wearing right now are like some Mitchell and Ness ones. Mitchell and Ness has fire basketball shorts. Um, I don't know what else. That's pretty much it. Like honestly, Uniqlo. You can go to literally Target, Walmart. You'll find some cool like cargo, whether it's Wrangler or George or like one of those brands. Like there's some good stuff. Ask Souls, is the dunk wave over? I would hope so. I'm tired. I'm tired of dunks. Honestly, like I'm so over dunks in general. Like I don't know. Every time a new pair comes out, a new colorway, like it'll just change like a little bit. They might change the shade. They might just flip the color blocking. They might. Just, I'm just so tired of dunks. That's a good thing to bring up. Quality over quantity. I feel like they just the quantity with the dunks is just insane. That's where it's like. I honestly I didn't mind when it was just like a couple colorways and they all went for a lot of money like when they brought out like the Kentuckys and the Syracuses like when was that two years ago in 2020 and like they were mad expensive but like they only brought out those colorways that was fine honestly I wouldn't even complain about that but now it's just like every single dunk colorway that like it's every single day it's like a new dunk that comes out ask souls how did never run out of YouTube video ideas I'm gonna be honest with you I don't even know I just pick up a camera and I record. If, if it wasn't for vlogs, I don't know how I wouldn't have ideas. If like just random stuff didn't happen in those videos, I I just record my life. I literally couldn't tell you. This is like one of the only sit down videos I do. This and then the top tens and uh, sneaker, no, and outfits of the week. Those are the only uh, like videos that are like set that you guys see come out like on like a week basis, every other week basis. But other than that, it's just literally my life. Like I just vlog my life and just hope that something interesting happens or I hope I get something new to show y'all or I hope like I do something different. Like it's never like planned too far in advance. Like maybe like a week in advance, like, okay, I know I'm gonna pick this up at a certain time so I know I can make a video on that. Or like, oh, this is coming out soon. Let me get this so I can make a video. Like that's how, but other than that, I don't know. Ask Souls, do you mess with Poppy Q uh, Quan clothing brand? Yeah, I mess with, I mess with Poppy Q. Uh, that's my boy. I appreciate him. He's he showed nothing but love to me, so I definitely appreciate him. And um, his clothing brand, honestly, I haven't seen that much of it besides like the, the zip ups. And then I think it was the truckers. The truckers are tough. So yeah, I might need to get one of those. Not gonna lie, yo, Quan. Ask Souls, who is your biggest inspiration? I'm gonna be honest. I don't really have a big inspiration. Like, I feel like I've never really had an inspiration. Sure, I've been, I guess, inspired by certain things, but never really people. Like, I guess Big Sean's music inspired me to like grind and push forward, but like, I don't know, like seeing sneakers inspired me to make different types of shoes, but like, it was never just like a person that I looked up to and I wanna be like, and I wanna be like, I wanna be like. I feel like I've always just been myself and I've taken elements from many different things. Like you, literally, if you look at my room, you see the amount of different things that are in here. That's just like, I've just taken inspiration from things, not really people. Ask Souls, Butler still your fave? Yes, Jimmy Butler still to go. I don't care. I've been a Butler fan since he was on the Bulls. Jimmy Butler's the goat, and I don't even watch basketball like that anymore. But I still know Jimmy Butler is the goat. <laughs> Ask Souls, favorite food? I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't even know. <sighs> Probably it's either pasta and chicken and like sauce, or it's like chicken, rice, and beans. So either or, depends what mood I'm in that day. If I want to be Italian or Spanish. Ask Souls, what colors should I wear with green? Uh, it's complimentary color, I believe is orange, which is kind of loud, but I would definitely, you know, it depends on the green, honestly, but most of the time browns look really good and like tonal colors look really good with green because green is such a loud color. But if it's a green like this, honestly, just pair it up with other colors. Like I got a red with it, but the cat also does have like red and stuff, but yeah, I don't know. Green's just a very weird color, but it's honestly one of my favorites if it's the right green. Like this is one of the probably the brightest green I'd ever wear, like the one that's on my hat. But I love like olive green, like the darker greens, like there's so many like forest green. There's so many good greens and like damn green's an underrated color. They got some good colors. Green goes with a lot, honestly. You might not think it, but like Again, depending on the shade, it goes with a lot. All right, y'all, so that is pretty much it for today. I appreciate you guys for leaving questions for the Ask Souls. Again, this was episode 30, so huge shout out to y'all for making it this far. Make sure you comment down below a question for next week's video. Again, it can be literally about anything, so just comment down below. Go follow the Instagram at paul.souls so you can see like the fit pics and all that other stuff. And I'm gonna try to start, you know, posting when videos come out on the Instagram story. I'd be forgetting to be honest, because I just schedule my videos so far in advance. I'd be forgetting videos even come out. So, hey, I appreciate y'all. Love y'all. Stay safe and we out. I wanna run up the money and love with the music. I do it with passion. Yeah. You see me thumb it through honest for all this designer and love with the fashion. Yeah. I'm gonna walk with the money. They calling me Michael. I'm feeling like Jackson. And I ain't like none of you niggas. You know I'm a boss. I ain't